Hey there, my name is Promise. Welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Reich playing as United Kingdom. In the last video, we declared war on the Germans. Well, that was two videos ago, but we declared war on the Germans. And uh, their Reichsbach fell apart once we took Berlin and started bleeding up the rest of the uh, German Empire. Which means we're now still fighting a lot of nations, but there is no Reichsbach. We are now picking off each of the Eastern European nations one by one, which I find personally absolutely hilarious. So yeah, this is going really well. My stability sucks and everything, but like, who cares besides that? It's fine. Uh, we have managed to prepare a collaboration government in Austria because we are trying to continue to uh, get them ready for a quick invasion. Could do something here with Russia. Now, to be honest, with the second Russian Republic over here, um, I'm not sure that we need a collaboration government. I feel like once we take their victory points around Moscow and St. Petersburg, they'll fall apart. We don't really have to travel across the Ural Mountains, as far as I know. So I'm not going to bother, not to mention it would take too long at this point. There goes Lithuania. Thank you. Going to take all states. Goodbye, boom. Plan on feeding off some more territory to Prussia, maybe. I don't know. Hey, Liberty Day. Liberty for everyone else, I guess. West Prussia. Give it to Prussia. Boom. Oh, man. A big, scary, nice, awesome Prussian nation. This is going to be beautiful. There goes the United Baltic Duchy. I can't take all states because I did not do all of the work. But I can do a lot of it. Let's take... I uh, can't take quite this much. And turn there. Pass. Take. Take. That's it. Okay, so we will be able to unite them and free them off in a little bit. There's still a few stragglers here and there we should probably go ahead and deal with. So let's move green to do exactly that. Send some of these guys over here. Some over here. There we go. And once that's done, they get along the borders with Russia specifically. Red is now going to go and deal with Belarus. And once Belarus is out of the picture... Then we can go ahead and take a push against Russia. All this is looking fine so far. No problem whatsoever. Green, need to give you an offensive line. Gimli is mad because my wife just left with her sister-in-law. He doesn't like being left at home. It's funny. You, like, run to the door. He'll stick back. He knows not to run outside front. But you get there, and then you, uh, you lock the door, and you hear him just bark in fury. Like, how dare you forget me back here? It's like, dude, we didn't forget you. This was, this was the plan. This was the plan all along. Switzerland is gone. Ah, bye. <laughs> all right, so that's taken care of. Beautimus, we have a whole army with nothing to do. Tell you what, we're going to go ahead and start getting some of these guys in position to have a little bit of fun at the expense of Austria when the time comes. Let's go ahead and set up a front line, which will basically be to be pushing along this. Kind of surprised they have all of Yugoslavia under their control, or most of it anyway. The Serbian Republic still exists, but there we go. I know, by the way, there's more we can do with factions. I know there's more we can do with our doctrines and stuff. Who cares at this point? It really shouldn't impact me too much. Uh, Switzerland. We go ahead and liberate Swiss lands into a proper republic. Although, by doing so, we immediately mess this all up again. That's so frustrating. Okay, get this set up like that, please. Thank you. Um, all of you are set to this, right? Kind of surprised you guys feel like you don't have enough troops to man this front line. It doesn't feel like it's that large. Weird. What else we got? Uh, Lithuania and Poland. Well, we can pro... Oh, sorry, not that. Pub uh, Baltic States. Uh, the moment I do that, I'm going to make things more complicated over here, so we'll hold off on that for a minute. Uh, IEDC economic measures appear to have gone away. Okay. More pilots. My god. I have a lot of planes following these divisions, so I shouldn't have to micromanage my air force for the most part. Not that it's always intelligent. Sometimes it's downright stupid, but we're getting there. Night vision for some land night attack. That'll be nice. Anything else? Um... Sure. Better military police for whenever I do have some occupations. Let's go ahead and do the IEDC review. Uh, I haven't really been doing much with my civilian factories, but I guess we'll go ahead and do some construction engineers for 30%. That seems pretty good. Alright, um, Lithuania we can go ahead and free up. I don't think that'll mess things up too much. Release a loyal state. Done. Okay. Green, please finish this all off. I don't know why they're still allowed. I I'm alive. I'm not sure why you allowed them to continue, but let's go ahead and clear this nonsense out. Okay. Um, Minsk should be easy to get to. These guys are set to aggressive, so as soon as they get to the front line, they should be making pushes somewhere. 
Yeah, no, I, I think I can leave this all on autopilot. All right, well, we need to get ready for our war against Austria. For now, uh, in the sake of this video, since so many things have been going long lately, I'm gonna go ahead and do a jump cut to when we are about pretty much finished with some of these states over here in Eastern Europe, plus Finland. Let's see, we've released Latvia. Now we're gonna go ahead and release Estonia. So we have all of that taken care of. We're actually, weirdly enough, in some places, creating what appears to be more realistic, uh, real life borders. With the exception of the German Empire and like Italy and stuff, we kind of messed a lot of that up. Hey, who the heck said that Brittany was allowed to rejoin with France? I didn't authorize that. It makes me angry. Ah, fine, whatever. Belarus, you fought valiantly and now you are very dead. Now we turn our attention to our good old friend, Russia. We can beat them though. They got practically nothing left on the front line. I'm pretty sure almost everything they could possibly have has been lost a long time ago. Finland has fallen. Uh, I don't think I can take all states. Canada did a lot of the work there as well. Nonetheless, we can certainly take a pretty significant part of it. We'll take all of, let's say this to start. Pass, pass, Canada. No, Norway is taking some land for themselves. It's a little, um, little pretentious, but all right. Go ahead and take some of this. Oh, good Lord. Tell you what, Norway, where are you? I don't like border gore. I don't like what you're creating, but I can't stop you. So here, take this. There, that'll be done. Now you can decide whether you want to release this or not. You created some a really awkward looking state though, I'm just saying. It looks kind of stupid. Bit derpy. Ukraine falls next. Uh, we might, no, we don't quite have enough uh, points for that, unfortunately. All right, hang on. I gotta do this all manually again. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, I got that. We're gonna liberate Finland into its own state. Which looks kind of like this, because Norway took a bunch of it. Sorry. <laughs> Look, it wasn't my choice, all right? Finland, uh, Norway got greedy. I'm not trying to stir the hatred between the Norwegians and the Finns or anything, though I think the rivalry between the Swedes and the Finns is a bit higher, but that's beside the point. It's not my fault, all right? I didn't partition that one. I really didn't, I promise. Good Lord, we have so much to scroll through now. Ah! Let's see, the fate of, I'll end up over here. Oh, Norway actually gave territory away, that's nice. Let's go ahead and give some of this off to Finland, Finland, and Finland. We're gonna make them grow. That looks better. And liberate a friendly Ukraine. Baboom, they got a lot of states. They got like 23. It's, it's enough that apparently it's freezing up my game. There we go, Ukrainian People's Republic. I don't trust anything that's called a People's Republic. Sounds very syndicalist, if you ask me. The Bristol Banshee has been researched. A very beautiful jet bomber. Which uh, I imagine at this point of the game would be even better than a lot of our close air supports. That is just a guess. Should definitely start producing some of it, why not? And down goes Russia. I would like to take all states, darn it. Well, a little bit too much to hope for, admittedly. All right, let me do this manually again. And what do we do with Russia? Of course, we release the third Russian Republic. <laughs> I don't know what happened over here. I'm not sure why there have to be so many competing Russian Republics, but apparently there do. Uh, the war is not officially over as of yet. It's very close to over. I think the only technical major war participant left, the game's frozen up a bit, uh, would be the German government in exile, which is to say, Middle Africa, which has been uh, renamed into, well, their thing. So these are the only ones left, technically, and then the war is officially over. Fighting in Africa sucks, but we can get our troops over here quickly enough. Maybe we can finish it, I don't know. The Americans can certainly finish it for me if they try hard enough, I know they can. What is this? The United States invites us into an international trade organization. Oh, heck yeah. I, I don't know how this affects my own personal trade organization, but I mean... I don't see any reason not to join it. Seems good. Why not? And finally, this nonsense is done. Okay. One more big peace deal before I can go and fight the new foe and have more fun. Atomic bombing? What? Hold on. The Russians just nuked... Turkestan? I didn't even get to be the first for the nukage? Against Turkestan? 
They don't even have any troops fighting you. You could have won this one easily. All right, that was just a nation looking for an excuse to test out their new toy. Let's be honest. That's exactly what that was right there. Justification is finally done. Good lord, that took forever. Call in all the allies. Here we go. This should be cool. So we have them fully surrounded. Now, you might think that I want to just go charging in gun-ho. I think you'd be disappointed by that, though. Because uh, I need to wait for some allies to arrive. Remember, this entire playthrough is dependent upon other people um, helping me in some of these wars. Winning them on my own is a little on the difficult side. So we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to keep ourselves entrenched. He's exhausting himself against me. These are the kinds of things that we're looking for. I suppose what I could have done is selectively introduced only a few vassals at a time. And then uh, sneak attacked him whenever he wasn't paying attention, so we could have hit him really hard from one direction. But I mean, I don't know. It's more fun to just go for like a mass assault in every direction. Am I right? Probably. How are we doing as far as air superiority? Not as good as you would expect. Even with my jets and stuff, not as good as you'd expect? Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Um, all right, so let's see. This general, these... So the people from the north feel very confident about their ability to push, and I'll go ahead and start pushing with red as well. And sure enough, it does look like we will be able to make a few hits. Not doing great over here on the west, but I'm not too worried about it yet. Green, you can counterattack in a few spots around Albania and Bulgaria just so we can technically have had them involved in the war. Then I don't really care if we fight them anymore, because once you take out Austria... It should be more or less done. Let's not forget that I also do have collaboration going. 45% collaboration with the United States of Great Austria, Greater Austria. So, uh, they'll capitulate relatively easily if I can get to some of their critical spots. Let's go for some really nice IEDC buffs. I don't have any need for any of those buffs exactly, but we'll go ahead and take it anyway. And a 5% consumer good reduction? Sure, why not? Sounds good. All right, everyone else feels comfortable attacking? Go ahead, attack. Green, you're the only one who doesn't need to attack anymore. You're fine. Everyone else, let's just sort of see what happens if I do this on autopilot. Looks like there are a few spots where we're having some trouble. Hmm. Why can't I drop a nuclear bomb? Answer, because I still do not have air superiority, which really surprises me. Like, really, I am quite shocked. I would have expected significantly more out of this. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna have to do this manually because it looks like the planes are not quite following along with this as well as I would have expected. So we're gonna do something like this, force all of these planes into these zones. And uh, we're having some trouble in Hungary, but at least in Austria, it looks like we are now okay. All right, so for example over here, I mean, if Russia's got nukes, I might as well show my hand and let them know that I also got nukes. Get ready for it. Boom, baby! Ba boom! Eh, it's not enough to make him give up outright, but I mean, like, feels pretty good. Oh, you guys are holding out on me! Boom, baby! We're gonna go for another nukeage! Drop it! Boom! That's right. What about over here? You trying to hold out on me? No! I don't think so! We gotta go for another one of the big ba booms! Actually, I'm pretty sure we were about to take that province anyway, so maybe that was a totally pointless ba boom, but. It was a satisfying baboom. What about over here in the mountains? Austria's gonna become a nuclear wasteland by the time we're done with all this. But this is why you build nukes in this game. To use them. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. There you go. Using nukes to carve a little bit of a path here, we are able to quickly clear this area out. Get a small encirclement going so that these guys can't do much of anything. <laughs> uh, who knew that nukes were so good at carving a path? You know, I'm like Moses, I'm parting the Red Sea. But in this case, it's the Austrians' blood in nuclear fire. This actually sounds really dark now that I'm saying it. And there goes, not Austria, sorry, German East Asia. Oh, right. Well, I would like to go ahead and take some territory down here. This sounds good, doink. Uh, it's gonna be a little hard to take things like Singapore, though. We can certainly try. Uh, take that, pass, 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 pass. Take mine. And someone else is taking these states. Looks like I can't get any of them. It's Australasia. That's fine. Gonna hold on to all this territory. That feels like proper United Kingdom kind of stuff. All right, looking good. Where were we in this war? Still a lot of red, but to be honest, I've got so much manpower and equipment and allies. I don't feel the need to micromanage anything. I can just sit back at a leisurely pace and just do its thing. There they go. Hey. 
Not a dang thing to worry about. All right, so I can't take all of you, but what I can do is take all of Bulgaria and all of Albania for sure. And then we start working our way up Austria, including Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Dalmatia, and all that stuff. Take some territory to feed back to my Italian buddy. You know, that kind of stuff. Americans, don't you dare use that war score. You stay the heck out of here. This is all mine. All of it! Okay, we can release Bulgaria and uh, Albania, and then we can liberate Austria or we can give them to the South German Confederation. You know what, as insult to industry, let's go ahead and feed them off to the South German Confederation. The problem is this still leaves me with a lot of land that we gotta give off to other people. Um, give Imperial Preference to a bunch of people, deploy more ships. Uh, there is an option sometimes here to give land back to people if you have things that other people have cores on, but it does not look like this will be one of those cases. So there's a lot more territory left here. Let's see what happens with all that. There we go. Hungary. We go ahead and release a Greater Hungary. Sounds fun. We'll probably release Bohemia. I like the idea. I guess in this case it's a Czech state, but that's fine. Croatia. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give that off to them. Bukhara. I will give to the Russian Republic. Which one? Don't know. Give this one to Bulgaria. Give Macedonia. I give that one to Greece. Why not? Nice, uh, grant it to the Serbian Republic? No, we give to our uh, ally Bulgaria. Northern Epirus, I give to Albania. Southern Tyrol, we give to... Uh, split it between... No, give it to our Italian allies primarily. I think they deserve that. Plus, it's the nicest borders, don't you think? I think so, a little bit. Ah, here we go. Okay, now we can return a whole load of lands to people. I will return Italian lands... I will return Greek lands. I will return their cores specifically. Hang on, let's figure out what else we want to do. Uh, Bulgaria, we return those. Ukraine, we return those. South German, you can have that. Croatia, I guess we'll give you that. Australasia? I don't know what lands you think that I have that are yours, but I'm keeping all the islands down here, so forget that nonsense. And I'm keeping the stuff in the West Indies, and I'm keeping my colonies in Africa. I ain't giving that back to France and Portugal. Heck no. That stuff belongs to me. Still got ourselves a fair bit of border gore up over here, though. Oh, wait, there we go. Bosnia. We go ahead and give it to Croatia. Why not? One nice-looking state. Slovenia? Give it to the South German Confederation. Western Thrace? We give to Bulgaria, Macedonia, we give to Bulgaria, and Galicia, I think we give to our Polish buddies up over there, and there's still a tiny bit of leftover land that has to be calculated somewhere. Let's unpause the game for a second, see if it gives me an option. Order restored in a few places, that's cool. Oh, good lord. All right, well, I, I still got a tiny bit of border gore left, but the game doesn't seem to want to let me give that back to anybody. God, we have so many allies. I'm gonna give one final royal address, just so everyone knows. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the final state of the world that I have created. The Entente has created, shall we say, a um, new world order, including two Russian republics. It's not confusing for anyone involved. Everyone knows the difference. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, this was a pretty fun playthrough, and the United Kingdom got fairly strong by the end of this. We've definitely scaled as far as our power, but, uh, the only way we were able to challenge this is because I went to the United States. I was a little worried that I was a little bit too aggressive going for the U.S., and it would have been better to just go for the United Kingdom and ignore them, but no. By the end of the day, the United States was the, uh, MVP that carried it. I was the brains of the operation, alright? But everyone else, they did most of the heavy lifting. I was just special forces. That's pretty much all I did. Fun campaign. Tough campaign, but fun campaign. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this series of Kaiserreich. If you did, then I would humbly ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.